Hello and welcome to Basic Index Laws Model Answers. So let's begin with our first question. What is the value of x? And we have 9 to the power of 6 times 9 to the power of 9 equals 9 to the power of x. And we have to work out what is the value of x. Now we know from our tutorials that the rule which applies is this one. x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x to the power of a plus b. And let's put a circle around this. That is the rule which applies to this question. So let's work through this. We have 9 to the power of 6 times 9 to the power of 9. Now this becomes 9 to the power of 6 plus 9. And that's quite easy. It becomes 9 to the power of 15. Therefore, x equals 15. And that is the answer. And typically this question would be a one mark question. Now let's move on to our second question. Simplify the following. We have 8 to the power of 9 divided by 8 to the power of 3 equals 8 to the power of y. So we are being asked to work out what is the value of y. Now again this would typically be a one mark question. And you will recall from our tutorial that the rule which applies here is x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b equals x to the power of a minus b. Now let's put a circle around this. So let's work through a Let's work through the question. So we have 8 to the power of 9 divided by 8 to the power of 3. This becomes 8 to the power of 9 minus 3. And that becomes 8 to the power of 6. Therefore, y equals 6. And that is the answer. Now let's move on to our next question. What is the value of z? We have 4 to the power of 3 and then brackets to the power of 4 equals 4 to the power of z. So we are being asked to work out what is the value of z. Now again, this would typically be a one mark question. Now you will recall from our tutorial that the rule which applies here is x to the power of a, put the brackets in, to the power of b. This is simply x to the power of a, b. So we simply multiply the two powers together. Now again, let's circle the rule, and then we will go through the question. So we have 4 to the power of 3, brackets, to the power of 4. This becomes 4 to the power of 3 times 4, and that results in 
4 to the power of 12. Therefore, z equals 12. And that is our answer. Let's move on to our next question. Number four. What is the value of P? And we have 5 to the power of 8 divided by 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of P equals 5 to the power of 2. Now this question would typically be a two mark question. So it is important to show all the workings out. Now I'm going to leave the question there but I'm going to rewrite the equation so that we can work through it. So we have 5 to the power of 8 divided by 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of p equals 5 to the power of 2. Now what I want to do at this stage is look at this in isolation. We have 5 to the power of 8, we've got 5 to the power of 3. Now we know from our tutorial that x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b equals x to the power of a minus b. I'm just going to circle this just to highlight that this is one of our rules. Now therefore, in our question, the 5, show some workings out, divided by 5, to, sorry, 5 to the power of 8 divided by 5 to the power of 3, this simply becomes 5 to the power of 8 minus 3, and that is 5 to the power of 5. So let's write this out. So we now have 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of p. Don't forget we've eliminated the 5 to the power of 3. This equals 5 squared. So we've simplified the original equation and let's keep going. Now from the same rule that we have here we know that 5 to the power of 5, that's this one here, divided by 5 to the power of p, that equals 5 to the power of 5 minus p equals 5 to the power of 2. So that's what this equation has now become. 5 to the power of 5 minus p. Therefore, if we follow this through, this becomes, sorry, the uh, p is therefore 3. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Therefore, p equals 3. And that is our answer.